Good morning, guys. I hope everybody is doing well. Today, we are going to be programming with Angry Birds. So um, if we were together, first, we would do this by being unplugged, which means we would do an activity not on the computer. So since we're not together, I'm still going to show it to you, and you guys can try to figure it out. Um, if you have the ability, maybe a grown-up can help you print these um, blocks, these unplugged blocks. I'll show you in a minute. Um, but here's the puzzle. So what you would have to do is try to get this bird over to the pig. Now, how you would do that is you would have these unplugged blocks we would cut out um, and we would work together to try to snap the blocks to the wind run block in order to get the bird. Um, but we don't have the ability to do that right now. So we're just, if you can do it, great. If not, you can get a piece of paper. You can um, try to figure out which blocks you would use to get this bird here over to the pig. Um, you, it says move forward, turn left or turn right. So anyways, that was something fun that we could do, but we're gonna skip that and we're gonna go here. We're gonna watch a video about Angry Birds and then we'll start on puzzles together. Today, we're going, going to, learn to learn to program, program using a drag, drag and drop, drop language called Blockly. Blockly uses, uses colorful, colorful instructions, instructions called blocks, blocks to build programs, programs that you can use to solve puzzles. puzzles. Under, Under the hood, the you're still creating code. Each puzzle, puzzle you'll solve with the code, code is split into four main, main parts. parts. On the On left, left is the play, play area, area where your program will run. run. In the, In the center, center, you'll, you'll see, see the toolbox tool area that holds all the blocks, blocks, blocks that, you that you will need for each puzzle. puzzle. To the to right is your workspace where you will drag blocks to build your program. Finally, Finally, above, above the, workspace, the workspace, you will see the specific, specific instructions, instructions for each puzzle. puzzle. Don't, Don't worry if you accidentally, accidentally drag out a block, block that you don't need. need. If you have, if an, have extra an extra block, block simply drag, drag it, back it back into the toolbox, toolbox put it away. After, After you hit, you hit run, run, you can, you can always, always hit the reset, reset button, button to get your, get your character back, back to the start, start so you can try again. again. So remember, an algorithm are the steps to complete a task. So when you are trying to get the bird to the pig, you have to have a list of um, steps that you want the computer to take. So that's, um, we've got to figure out what blocks we're going to use. And in the last video, we had talked about, go away. That thing doesn't want to go away. Um, we had talked about bugs, something that's not right in our algorithm, which is messing up our um, program or steps. So it's important that we debug, which means find the bug and fix it. Um, and so I just have this little flyer I want to show you guys. Um, this talks about debugging, how you'll fix a problem. So one is to describe the problem. What do you expect it to do? Does it actually, what does it actually do? And does it always happen? So those are some questions you can ask yourselves when your code keeps coming up wrong and you get frustrated. Hunt for bugs. Um, are there warnings or errors? Um, what did you change most recently? Explain your code to someone else and look for the code related to the problem. So a lot of times we don't catch a bug, but somebody else can help catch it for us. And then the next one is try solutions. Make small changes. And this next step is really important because it's easy to forget what steps you've already tried and um, what steps, you know, you can you might change something and you'll forget what you changed and so that just gets really frustrating 
So document as you go. What have you learned? What strategies did you use? And what questions do you have? So those are all some things that you guys can consider using tools um, when you are trying to debug. So we are going to go to our first puzzle together. Um, if you struggle with reading, that's totally okay. You can click this right here and it will read it to you. For this For puzzle, puzzle, drag all of the blocks, blocks together, together and click run to watch it go. Okay, drag all of the blocks together and click run. Do you see the run button right over here? It's a play button. So that's going to get you where you need to go. So let's snap the blocks, let's do what it asked, and let's hit run. So you just wrote computer coding. So here's the code that you actually told the computer. Um, move forward and move forward. That's all in computer talk. And if you want to replay the puzzle, you can hit replay in the green button or you can hit continue, which is the orange button. And I think you guys are ready to continue. You guys are so smart. All right. So now it's telling us to drag an extra move forward block out of your toolbox to finish your code. So your toolbox is right here. This is where all your codes are kept. Um, and or your blocks, this is your block area. So it wants us to take one more out and snap it together. And if you struggle in this lesson, it's good to go back and start on the other courses. There's course A and B, and this, this course is C, but it helps you kind of get a better, strong foundation um, for coding. So if you haven't done the other courses, I encourage you to do those. So let's run this because it told us just to move a, an extra move forward block out of our toolbox. Let's see. One, two, three. So it was right. We, we wanted him to move forward three times. Let's hit continue. Let's hit play. This pig is ruffling my feathers. There is one extra block that is going to cause the bird to crash. Throw it away by unhooking it from the gray blocks and dragging it back to the toolbox. Okay, so the bird is mad because that pig is ruffling his feathers. That means he's annoyed. Um, and there's one extra block in here that we don't need, but we're not sure. Do you guys know which one it is? Maybe. Let's just run it and let's just see what happens. Ow. That poor bird probably has a headache. Okay, so another cool thing is the step button. So the step allows you to move just one code forward, one block forward. And so that allows you not to just see the whole code be ran. Um, it allows you to go step by step, which kind of makes it easier to search for your bugs. So let's do it. Step one, move forward. Okay, so as you can see, it's highlighted in yellow. He just did that step. So the next step would be he's going to move forward again. Do you guys think he needs to move forward again? No, he needs to go up or north. So. I want you guys to take that extra move forward block out and let's just take it to the trash. Okay, so let's reset him and let's go steps step by step to see if we can go further this time. One move forward block. Okay, so now we're gonna hit step again and he's going to turn left. Looks like we may have fixed this bug. And then another move forward and a move forward. Great job, guys. All right. Trace the path and lead me to the silly pig. 
Avoid TNT or feathers will fly. Oh dear, there's dynamite here. I want you guys to pause my video and I want you to play around with these codes. You might hit the dynamite and that's okay. Um, you can always just reset this button. See, so it's okay because you can reset that bird and he's back to normal and he's fine. So I'm going to let you guys play for a couple of minutes and then I'll join you back and we'll see what codes, codes worked out. All right, guys, I hope you did well on that puzzle. It's okay if you didn't get it because we're going to do it together anyways. Um, and this is much more fun when you have a partner sitting next to you or a friend you can be working with um, doing the paired programming. But right now, due to COVID, we can't do paired programming anyways. So um, I'm, I'm your teammate online and so that's really fun too so let's play this let's run him and let's see if we got this right so this is the code that i used that worked um we can do step by step and then we'll just hit run one move forward turn right one move forward turn left and a move forward so we did get get to the pig um sometimes our algorithms or our steps the blocks we use will be different because there's several different ways this one we could only go one way so yours should look like mine if you didn't get it right that's okay these puzzles can be really tricky so it's just important you guys just keep going and just have fun all right so here is another one. Follow this path to get me to the pig. Avoid the TNT. All right. So once again, please pause this video and I want you guys to figure out how you're going to move this bird over here to the pig. Which blocks will you use? A move forward block, a turn left block, a turn right. Um, I can't wait to hear how you guys are doing. So go ahead and pause me and then we'll figure out the code together. Hi guys. Um, was this puzzle hard? Did you guys run into any bugs or issues? How many of you guys hit the dynamite? I hit the dynamite a couple times um, and that's okay. Hey, that pig was just laughing at our bird. So here is the code that I came up with. It's a move forward block, a move forward block, a turn left block. And this is cool too. You can use either of these blocks, but you can also change them yourself if you choose to. Um, and then two more move forward blocks. So let's run it and let's see if I got it right. I'm sure you guys did a great job. So once again, here's the code that you wrote, the algorithm, the steps you told the computer to do. Um, if you want to replay that puzzle, click this. If you want to continue, click this one. And you guys are doing such a great job, so I'm sure you click the orange. All right. Keep calm and help me find the bad pig. Otherwise, I might get angry. Get the bird to the pig and avoid the TNT. All right. Keep calm and help me find the bad pig. So we can't go use the two move forward blocks because we have to go either up and around or down and around. So here's where your code might look different than your friend's codes. It might look different from my code and that's okay. So I want you guys to pause my video, try to write your algorithm. If you see a bug and it doesn't work, just swap it out. You can trash the whole algorithm if you want and reconstruct it with new blocks. So go ahead and pause me and try to figure out how to get that naughty pig. All right, guys. So remember this one, we might not have the same and you might not have the same um, code as somebody else and that's okay. So maybe I went up and around. Maybe you guys went down and over and around. So 
I hope that you were able to get the bad pig. If not, you have a bug. So you have to use the step button and debug it to try to figure out exactly where we messed up, where your code went wrong. So let's run him. Hmm. So I have a bug. Something is not quite right. What block am I missing? Do you guys think? I'm super close. Right. Probably a move forward block. Now let's see. We did it. All right, let's get coding. You guys are doing so good. Okay, this is a challenge puzzle. puzzle and this is designed to stretch your brain and just do your best. So you can skip this puzzle if you choose. If not, say you're ready and click that orange button. Oops. It's time, time to get, get angry. angry. Challenge. Challenge. This, this code, code has a lot of bugs. bugs. You'll, You'll need, need to, to remove, remove some, some blocks, blocks and add others. others. Okay. So this one is about the bugs. Um, there's a lot of blocks in there. And so I want you guys to pause me. I know it looks really hard, but you guys totally can handle this. So you can use the step-by-step -step button. Okay, so that got me there. And remember, as it goes, the step you're on is highlighted. Mm. All right, so I just killed my little bird. So pause me. I want you guys to really play around with this. Drag some extra blocks in if you need to. Get rid of blocks. Um, and then unpause me, and then we will figure this algorithm out. All right, guys. So maybe you were able to figure this out. Maybe you could not, and that's okay. Um, coding can be really tricky. So just do your best. Don't get frustrated. If you get frustrated, just walk away for a little bit and you can come back. Um, cause I just want you guys honestly to be having fun. And so this is what I came up with and maybe I still have bugs. Maybe I don't, I don't know until I hit run. So if you didn't get it, that's okay. If you did good job, let's, Try it together. Mm. Rats. So I have a bug still, so I'm going to reset him. So right here, I have him turning left. So. I have to hit right and move forward. So now let's see if I can get this. <laughs> Got him. Boy, that was a hard one. Look at the confetti flying for you guys because you guys did such a great job. So coding, I mean, those bugs are tricky and it's okay to feel annoyed or cranky that it doesn't work out the first time. But these are like puzzles and you don't get to lay a puzzle on the table and then it's done within five minutes. You have to figure out exactly which piece goes where. So it it's good for your brain. It tricks your brain and helps your brain grow. All right. So once again, I want you guys to pause me. I want you to get that pig. And then when you're ready, unpause me and we will figure this code out together. All right, guys, so maybe your algorithm looks like mine, this, the blocks that we used. Um, and I wanna show you something. We haven't covered it yet, but 
Some of you might be wondering what this pink block is. So I want to show you guys. So right here, I'm going to snap this in. So, and I'm going to throw this away, even though I need it. I'll come back to it. So right here, I use this block. So I'm going to step by step it so I can kind of show you what that block does. So I'm moving forward. Uh, okay, I got it. It's not going to let me get away with that. So I have to have a move forward block. Okay, so watch the highlighted area. Darn it. Let's just say two, so it'll let me show you guys. When See? Even grown-ups struggle. Okay, so he just moved forward. He turned right. Now you can see him moving forward. So the first step was he moves forward, and I have him going right. Now, instead of having that many blocks, do you remember all those move forward blocks I had? This is where we can say, okay, we want him to move forward. So I drug the move forward block in. But how many times? One block, two block, three blocks, four blocks. So we are using way less blocks and um, we're still going to have the same ending result of getting the pig. And I don't want you guys to use this too much if, you, if you're not comfortable. If you can totally rock it, use that repeat block. If not, we're gonna learn more about it and we'll be able to use more of it. It's kind of a challenge if you guys wanna use it. So look right here, we use six out of nine blocks because we use the repeat block. Oh darn. And we forgot the last move forward block. All right, so we are headed to our next puzzle. Okay, let's, I'm going to click. Read through the code below very carefully. What will happen when you click run? The bird will end up one step short of the pig. The bird will make it to the pig. The bird will run into the TNT. I don't know. Okay, so this I want you to do on your own. Um... It's wanting you to read this book, this algorithm. So first it has the bird turning left. What is going to happen when, if we hit run, if we have the ability? Would the bird end up on the step, end up one step short of the pig? Um, the bird would make it to the pig? Would it run into the dynamite? Or you don't know. So I want you to pause it and just try to figure out what's going to happen with this bird. All right, so were you guys able to figure out which answer it might be? Well, it's the, I don't know why mine's not letting me click right now. Um, my computer's being cranky. Anyways, the correct answer was B. The bird will make it to the pig. Um, if you didn't select that, that's okay. Um, it's kind of tricky when you don't have the ability to hit run. Let's, so before you answer, you can't hit run. Okay, so that was perfect. All right, so here's our last puzzle for the day. Um, now, help, help me sneak, sneak up on the pig, pig any way you want to. to. Okay, so this is a really open graph right here. Um, you can use endless blocks to try to get there. And look, it does not have a number of blocks it wants you to use. So pause this video. Yours will not look like a friend's, will not look like a neighbor's because there's so many options to get to that pig. Maybe you're going to come over, go down, go straight across. Maybe you're gonna go across the top, then down, then over. 
So um, anyways, I'm sure you're going to have fun trying to figure out how to get that bird to that pig. If you hit the dynamite, that's okay. You always have a reset button. And I'm so happy you guys came to coding with me. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye, guys.